Warning, all of what you're about to see has either been performed by professionals or under the supervision of professionals. Do not try this at home. Welcome to Projectile Motion 101. Today we'll be finding the range of a cannon using the angle that it was shot at and time that the projectile is in the air. We'll be using a tennis ball as a projectile and we'll be using axe as a propellant which we will put in the chamber and we have a barbecue sparker which will create a spark and create a massive explosion and it will propel the tennis ball across the field. And this is the cannon. We're going to be firing this cannon at approximately 45 degrees, and we're going to time how long it takes to get from here to the ground where Alcox is. So, yeah, let's fire. Fire in the hole! Three, two, one! Shot number two. Ready! Three, two, one! Okay, now here is our guest star to explain the wizardry of this equation. Okay, apparently it's science. Crazy person. Physics is science? The science of this wizardry. Here's Alcox. Hi, I'm Brandon, and I'm here to provide the theory. And I'm here to provide the background. Okay. So to start this off, we started just with the equation delta D equals V1 T plus half A T squared. And then from that, we want to isolate V1 Y. So what we did was first we plugged in negative 9.8 .8 meters per second, the gravitational constant for A, because we were, we're dealing with vertical movement. And then we divided, or we um, subtracted V1 Y T from both sides. And we got this. And then to get V1Y by itself, we divide both sides by negative T. So then we got V1Y equals uh, 4.9 T squared minus delta DY all over T. And then from that, uh, we looked at what the angle would be. So we just made this little simple triangle, just a little diagram of what the, uh, what the cam was like with the uh, main speed on the hypotenuse V1Y and V1X in their proper locations, and theta being the angle that we launched at relative to the ground. So from that, we can decide that tan theta is equal to uh, V1Y over V1X because it's opposite over adjacent. And then rearranging for V1X, you get V1X equals V1Y over tan theta. Then the next equation we used was d, uh, delta dx equals vx times t. And from that we subbed in uh, this equation right here, equation number two. So then if you sub in v1x and vx here, you'll get delta dx equals v1yt over tan theta. And then taking the original equation up here, number one, and we put it into that most recent one you get delta dx equals 4.9 t squared minus delta dy times t divided by t all over tan theta. The two t's cancel out, so then you're just left with delta dx equals 4.9 t squared minus delta dy over tan theta. So now we've derived an equation, let's use it for science. So we have so we have the two time values here from the two shots that we did. First one being 4.82 seconds, second one being 4.07 seconds. Then we also have an average here, just so we can see what the average range of the cannon is. That's 4.45 seconds. So if we start with just the, uh, just the first one, just see what the maximum is. Uh, we use the uh, two values that we already figured out, delta dy, the height above the ground that the cannon was, was 2.07 meters and the angle was 45 degrees. So we use the equation that we already derived and we solve for delta dx, so plugging in all the values, 4.9 just being part of the equation, 
4.82 from up here, the first time value, and squaring that, because it's part of the equation, minus delta dy 2.07, all over tan 45. If you do the math there, you get uh, 110.83 meters. So that's the higher range of the cannon. And so that's the first one. And the second one, we do the exact same thing, but with 4.07 seconds. So it's the second time. And we get the second range is seven, uh, 79.10 meters. And then to find the average range, we just use the average time. And so we do 4.9 times 4.45 squared minus 2.07 all over tan 45. If you work that out, you'll get 94.96 meters. So the maximum range we get that we found was 100, about 110 meters. The minimum was about 79 and the average we got was about 95. And now the wizard behind the science. And the director of cannon holding. And now the director of pyrotechnics. Fire, 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 fire. And now the director of science. <laughs> oh god, the blood! That one! That hurts so much! <laughs> now the director of introductions. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> Warning, all the sets you are about to see have either been performed by professionals- Ow! <laughs>